Who owns your data? There's no arguing that I am the author and owner of all the documents I created for this class. I'm also the owner of every private telephone call I make, every message I send, where I go, and when I go. You are similarly the owner of everything you create, send, and do. Do you want others cataloging and storing all you create, transmit, watching all of your comings and goings? Will you capture all of this information from your users because it will make their experience more convenient? Or will you give them the choice? We live in a golden age of convenience enabled by technology. And so that means that, you know, you and I can be on other sides of the planet and we can have a conversation in real time for, for no money. Technology has enabled convenience and communication, but also convenience and surveillance. Now this so-called golden age of technology has essentially made it possible for anyone to spy on anyone else. You might have bought the phone, but whoever hacked it, they're the one who owns it. Any device that's on here, you can operate independently. So it's true you can get into the phone and turn the camera off? Yeah, absolutely. Is there a way you can tell if your phone's been hacked? Perhaps the most terrifying thing is, if your phone had been hacked, you would never know. Director Clapper, I want to ask you about Senator what Ron I asked. Wyden said, Do is the NSA collect collecting any, any kind of data at all? on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans. And James Clapper sort of <laughs> scratched his head. No, sir. And he said, no. It does not. They do not. Not wittingly. The most senior intelligence official in the United States of America raised his hand and swore an oath to tell the truth to Congress. And he lied on camera. He wasn't charged, despite the fact that that's a felony. He didn't even lose his job.